What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and right here I got liquid nitrogen. So what we're going to do is grab kind of candy and dip it inside of liquid nitrogen and let's see what happens. Look at that, I'm just gonna pour all the liquid nitrogen on top of it. Okay, let's see what happens. Ooh, yeah, right on top of it. Okay, I think that's enough. Then we're going to grab a spoon and just roll it around in the liquid nitrogen. Whoa, look at that. That's so crazy. I just squeeze it in there. Is it freezing? I can't even tell. It's just soaking it all up. It's soaking up all the liquid nitrogen. That's so weird. It's not even freezing, it's kind of absorbing it all. I don't know. It's not ice still. That's so weird. I thought it would turn to ice. But look, it just soaked up all the liquid nitrogen. I wouldn't recommend eating cotton candy like that because it's kind of soaks up liquid nitrogen. So I'm not sure if this cotton candy full of liquid nitrogen. So I had to wait a while till it's kind of evaporates all the way. Alright, let's start to eat it. So cold! So, so cold! Woo! It's like cold potato. You know people say hot potato. This is like a cold potato. Woo! But tastes so good. Well guys, there you go. Deep freeze cotton candy. Please do not try this at home. I feel like cotton candy kind of soaks up all the liquid nitrogen. So when you pick it up, you don't know if there's liquid nitrogen inside of it. Or is it just frozen cotton candy. So I'll be very, very careful trying and eating it. Because do not burn yourself. Or freeze yourself. <sighs> Please give this video a thumbs up, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.